What is up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sample in Fruity Loops. Now, I have a few friends who are actually good producers, but surprisingly, don't know how to sample in Fruity Loops. What I have is Fruity Loops 9. You may have Fruity Loops 10 or 8, the previous one, but it should, it should be the same thing. It should work. So we're going to open up Fruity Loops. And first of all, what you want to do is get your, your sample. I mean, your file, which you're going to be sampling from. And you just put it there. Click it and you will be on SMP which stands for sample and what you do is go here right click edit and that opens up that opens it up in something called Edison and Edison allows you to trim cut and save parts of the file so what I'm doing now is is zooming into the file by scrolling up and zooming out by scrolling down so I'm gonna zoom back into it so I can see where I can start sampling and I think I'm gonna start over here so what I'm doing now is click hold and drag to select what I want and I think I'm going to stop over here so that's just click hold and drag and spacebar to play so that sounds pretty good to me that's a good sample it's clean it's fresh and it's what I need it loops properly as well you've got to make sure it loops properly so just trial and error to see where your loop works and where it doesn't and what I'm going to do now is trim that so scissors icon trim and the shortcut is control and delete cutting would cut what you just selected out so what you want to do is trim um, so what I'm going to do now is save that save sample as and I'm just going to save it as whatever a new sample and when you're finishing when you're finished with Edison you've got to make sure that you stop your sample otherwise when you leave it playing and you close it it will continue to play so you've got to stop it in Edison before you close it okay so what I'm going to do now is get my sample which I just saved Drag that into Fruity Loops as well. Delete that because I don't need it anymore. Now you guys may may not delete your file because you might want to sample more from that composition. But I don't need it anymore. I just need this loop to show you guys how to sample. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and we're going to hear it again. So, my sample is good, but it does not fit into my composition. It does not fit into the full 16 bars that I've selected. You guys might may be on 8 bars, you guys may be on 4, but I usually leave it on 16, and right now it does not fit. So what I can do is go over here, I'm still on SMP, which stands for sample, and I can stretch it and make it longer so it can fit into the 16 bars. So let's hear it again. Okay, so my file is now too long, but what you guys can do is trial and error to see where it fits. But usually, I don't play with this, I leave that and go here instead. So this says time, and I right click it and go to four bars, and what that does, it just, it just automatically stretches the file to fit into the full 16 bars. And we're going to hear it again, and you will see that it perfectly loops. So, I've got a perfectly looping file, but this is a bit low pitched because I've stretched it and secondly, it's not the right tempo. So what I'm going to do here is go to pitch, right click, reset. So it's returning back to its original pitch. Okay, fine, but I want this a little bit faster. So I'm going to turn it to 105 BPM. Now I'm greeted with this bubble that says restretch all channels now. Now that comes up when you change the tempo and what I'm going to do is press yes because if I don't it will leave the file in a low pitch. 
pressing yes just resets the pitch again. Okay, so let's hear it now. Perfectly looping file, but I want to put a little beat to this, so I'm just going to put in a quick pattern, nothing special, just something quick. And we're going to hear that as well. And that's it. We've got a sample right there and we've got a beat. But I've got a tip. What you can do is go to your sample, go to function over there, F-U-N-C put a bit of echo into it because if you don't when your sample stops in your in your composition it will sound like it's not part of your work it will basically sound random and badly cut off so put a little bit of echo into it so it has a bit of a leftover so it doesn't sound so rough okay finally what I want to say is that um, you can also make your sample repeat. So for example, if we listen to Lil Wayne's song, A Millie, it goes A Millie, A Millie, A Millie. But what they did was replay the sample just like this. So let's hear it. But once again, my sample is overlapping. So what I need to do is click that, go here, loop, and uncheck use loop points and press it again when you go to it it will be checked but you need to uncheck it and check it again I don't know why it's like that but just uncheck it and check it again and it will start to repeat And that's it guys, simple sampling, that's my tutorial, hope you enjoyed it, start sampling today, peace out.